Dear friends, teachers, district coordinators, sector coordinators, MZTP staff, all partners of MZTP, greetings from teacher journalist Mukaraj Eric, and you are highly welcome on MZTP TV News today on 8th November 2020. Our today news is focused on the different activities teachers did, challenges they faced in the first week of schools reopening, and how to overcome them. Mr. Emmanuel, today we have a different interviews from teachers, director of MZTP, Dr. Erin, and photos from different districts show what's going on across 14 districts. Mr. Eric, we have an interview of a teacher Lawrence from GS Nyamiyaga in Kamoni district. Teacher Lawrence shared her experience in the first week of school opening within the school compound. And finally, she appreciated the endless help of AIM's teacher training program. Welcome, teacher Lawrence. I wanted to share my experiences during in and out of classroom in this week as school are now reopened. At the first day with my teachers, we received the student and kept them respecting if measures to avoid the spread of COVID-19, like washing their hands, taking temperature, tell them to wear masks correctly, and keeping social distancing. In the classroom, during the teaching and the learning process, first of all, all students arranged the desk with respect to one meter apart and participated actively by washing, by sharing ideas, where one shared the idea, and as a teacher, I asked others to make a comment. As Dr. Hereni said that we have to give the equal chance to every runner to express their ideas in this time of Corona. Let me finish my speech here by thanking MZTTP because it trained us how to behave while in teaching and learning process, especially in this time of Corona. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Eric, we have videos taken from GS Nyamiyaga in Kamoni district. So, as you see, before entering in the classroom, teachers wash their hands with the hand sanitizer by respecting social distancing of at least one meter apart. And one of them tests their body temperature by using infrared thermometer. And the students also do the same for preventing the spread of coronavirus. At this school, they have someone who is in charge of registering a teacher or a student who has a body temperature above 38 degrees Celsius and they have an isolation room for any suspected case. Uh, Mr. Eric, we have also different photos taken from schools in a different district show what's going on in the teaching and the running process in terms of COVID-19 and how students and teachers respect health measures. Uh, Mr. Emmanuel, we have an interview of teacher Donut uh, talking about what he did at the first day of reopening schools like sharing activities they did during this COVID-19 outbreak uh, and they set the rule uh, and regulation to be flowed within the school compound in order to avoid the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. So let us listen here. Welcome, Teacher Donut. The first day I entered in the classroom. First of all, I did welcome 
my students after a long time without meeting because schools stopped the Abra tree because of Corona. So meeting again, everyone was very happy. Everyone was smiling. So it was very, very interesting. Uh, what I did first, I asked my students to share with the whole class the challenges they met during the Corona outbreak. Most of uh, my students said that uh, wearing masks, social distancing were big challenges they met. So, after an open conversation, we have set the rules to be followed while being in class and out of class in order to stop the spreading of COVID-19. As I'm saying, challenges uh, students meet even as teachers wearing moth masks for a longer time is uh, very difficult. It is not uh, easy. But we have to do it in order to avoid the spreading of uh, COVID-19. So, to overcome these challenges, I use knowledge gained from uh, training that uh, I did online. These training were organized by AMZ TTP. Uh, also, every strategy I use to overcome those challenges is from uh, training I did and the experience shared by teachers from uh, Ghana and uh, South Africa. I got lessons from the experience, those lessons also I use them to overcome challenges I meet while teaching. Eric, we have an interview of a teacher Beatrice from GS Luragwe in Karonji district talked about challenges faced in the first week of school reopening, like respecting social distancing and wearing face masks properly among the students. Uh, Beatrice faced another big challenge of some students who forgot the content around. Welcome, teacher Beatrice. My observation about the challenge, which I faced in this week at my school, are so many, but the main challenge are three. The first one is to convince students to, that they should have a social distance and always wear face masks wherever they are properly. Secondly, at my school there are many students who, who forget at least everything according to the lesson they learned before COVID-19. It means that 
revise those lessons is very very complicated for teachers the um, third um, which observed is the big changement of characters and the behaviors for students according to the ways alas and the, the language they used at the school to overcome those challenge mgttp had given me the skills those will help me to be role model for students and other teachers to contribute my effort in everything as well as in my diet activities thank you so much let us take a Maui Kalambe short break from different district. <laughs> Mr. Emmanuel, we have an interview from a teacher David uh, from Rusis district as well as a champion teacher who appreciated what MSTTP online training helped him how to teach online via Microsoft team uh, application and the Zoom application in uh, these times of Corona. So let us welcome him. So actually, I am going to share with you some of the things that MZTTP helped me in two years that, that the time I joined it. First one, I have learned how to prepare a reason, reason plan, assessment, how to assess students very well, problem solving, and other very many things. We learned some things we have done blueprinting. We are still doing very many things. I had a workshop with people to run mathematics and sciences. This is my also opportunity to share with you that AMZTTP helped me this COVID-19 related to teaching and learning in better condition. I am teaching online. I am a teacher of mathematics in the White Dove Global Play. I am teaching online. Actually, I am teaching mathematics online because of the help, because of the important, because of very many things that aims TTP helped me. I have learned how to use Zoom application. That's what I am using today. I have learned how to use Microsoft Team. I am also using it to teach math and the sciences. I am a good teacher of mathematics in the way to do of globe play. So I am trying to find out some strategies that I got from AIMS trainings. That is very, very important. That AIMS helped me to learn how to use ICT, how to use technology in better teaching and learning. And truly, I am telling you that my students are very enjoying math and sciences. If we do that we are teaching online, but students are taking understanding, 
try also to serve us to solve some exercises online as physical so this is because of aims ttp i really thank you very much allow me to thank allow me to appreciate aims ttp for the important package that gave me that is helping me in my professional career thank you very much aims ttp i thank you very much all sector coordinators all champion teachers all teachers of 14 districts you have been with me you helped me to be whom i am today thank you very much have a good day eric we have also an interview of a teacher janet from jesse bugalama in our district teacher janet talked about challenges faced in the first week of school opening like teaching the whole day with face masks and that it is difficult to teach in terms of corona because of grouping student is not allowed. Teacher Janet suggested how to overcome those challenges. So Eric, let us welcome her. Welcome teacher Janet. At our school we face the following challenge. We are in mask, face mask for Rana, the whole day it is a big problem. The passiveness of our Rana, the way of using group work during teaching and learning process, and also a way of sharing teaching aids, for example, geometric equipment, charts, and so on. To overcome all those challenges, MZTTP help us through its organized training online and face-to-face -face training. MZTTP help us to take time, periodic time, discussing with our runner showing that them that it is important to put on the face mask all the time, washing the hand regularly, and also obey social distancing. We continue taking time, encouraging our runner that they have to work hardly, that they have to work together by obeying those measures of full health to avoid COVID-19 pandemic. Also, we try to distribute chalks for Rana. It means to, to avoid the sharing of chalks, we try to give chalks for each and every Rana. In addition, in the case of sharing instruments, for example, geometrical equipment, after using them, we give the permission, the runner goes out washing his or her hand and after he returns in the class. As teacher, we continue pushing by smiling, making our lesson more enjoyable and also we continue in the spirit of Maui Karame working together with two others. Thank you. So we have also teacher Daniel from uh, Lugawano in Kalonji district talking about the challenges he faced during these times of Corona, like teaching a whole day with face mask and appreciated what AMS TTP online training uh, helped him to set rules of engagement. So let us welcome him. And challenges runners have forgotten a lot of uh, topics that they have covered before going to the holidays. In terms of the schools, school uh, infrastructure, uh, we are not very well equipped with infrastructure which let runners respect the, the social distancing. Since there is a very big problem of runners trying to gather together. Also, a very challenging for, for myself, it is the way we are teaching. The use of the mask, it is a very, very
pro, a, a problem that is that we am facing and requires me a, a lot of energy to overcome this one. Although we are having such challenges, we have also received some help from AMZTTP. Through the holiday, holidays, we have gotten the different training that have equipped me with a lot of skills that I am using. For instance, my class, my runners have already developed the rules of engagement that everyone is following so that we can protect ourselves from different from different uh, area. Also, runners have agreed with me to continuously revise all the, the material so that they will they can have access to math and science combination. Also, the campaign that we are, have to develop a community is what we are doing both for my class, for my runners, and for my, my colleague teachers. And now we are very happy to have gotten the, the help from AMZ TTP. We have a message from director of AMZ TTP, Dr. Erwin, talking about uh, blended training. So let us listen her. I just want to tell my teachers that I'm really proud of them and the work that we definitely have done during this week. I know it has not been easy. I have seen report coming from our teachers, the fact that we have more work to do. We have to watch over the students, um, maybe during break time and including during school time. Our students are still trying to uh, get um, used to the new normal. And so I would like to encourage us to be more patient with our students. Let's help them understand why we have to do the things in the way that we have to do. And I know it's not easy. I mean, having those masks the whole day, um, but we have to do it for our safety, for the safety of the students and for, for our own safety as teachers. So I just want to take this time to encourage all of us. Let's keep doing. Let's keep being at it. But the one thing that will help us is every day, let's stop and reflect. Remember, we said we are reflective practitioners. Please take time. Remember this. We have not been this way before. So nobody has the solution of what is going to work or what is not going to work. But if we keep thinking about what we did every day and checking what worked and what didn't seem to work and thinking through how you could do it better or posting it on the platform so that others could give you ideas, that actually is going to help us chart a pathway of uh, teaching in this new season. So the other thing I want to comment on based on your Question is blended training. What's going to go on with our training? We would like to ensure that we continue interacting with each other. And so we are going to work to ensure that you still have your bundles. And we want to ensure that on Saturdays, we have something that we're doing together. So I just want to put us on notice on Saturdays or on Sundays. Those of us who are not able to come in on Saturday, you'll be able to access the information on Sundays. But also during the week, if we have time when we meet together as science teachers in our schools, we will be putting some resources online on the red platform that you can watch together as a community of teachers in your school and use it for discussion in your school. And then once every month, we're going to work hard at bringing all of us together within our training center so that we have some training. This is still being worked on. We will release a calendar in the coming week. But yes, we are committed to continue training, continue meeting together to reflect on our challenges and our successes so that we path away or, I mean, we, we create a way for making sure that the teaching and learning in this new season of teaching in the times of Corona, that we still go for quality of learning and teaching. Thank you, Mukarage Eric. Great thanks to our followers. Thank you, our fellow teacher and interviewers. Thank you, Elms TTP Director, Dr. Erin, and all Elms TTP staff. And uh, also, great thanks to our TV technician, Teacher Karanga Innocent. 
So, do our followers we are face mask properly, keep social distancing, and wash your hands properly and regularly in order to save our lives. Bye bye. Bye.